Hi, and welcome back to IN Radio. I'm Ken. And I'm John. And this is our Season 1 finale episode. So, John, what do we have in store for everyone at home? So, since we decided to switch over to a 10-episode season format, we said that the last episode, Episode 10, would be something big and something special. So, today we're bringing you a section of the Battle of Coruscant. That's right, 1,200 points per side. This is going to be a long one. And we are playing on the Imperial Star Shop Urban Planet map. Links will be in the description below. I mean, what big Star Wars planet was <laughs> urban? Coruscant. That would be Coruscant. <laughs> so I have today Luminara and a whole bunch of editors. Actually, a whole bunch of everything. There's really just no shortage of any of the ships that have been released so far. And I've got a Martuk fleet. And I've got, I think, at least two of everything uh, on board. So this is going to be a slugfest, John. A lot of fighters, a lot of big capital ships, and I think you've got the bid. I do. So some rule caveats that we decided to throw in, because fighters bog games down so much that we limited fighters to maximum 200 and maximum of five aces. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to our Patreon members for supporting us through this first season and on to the second season, if that would be something you would be interested in, there's a link down below in the description that you could join. So let's get right to the fleets. It's gonna be a long intro and a long deployment, but it's gonna be a huge slugfest of a game of everything that the Republic and the Separatists have to offer. So here is the 1200 point Martuk Battle of Coruscant fleet that I've put together. Uh, this does come in at 1200 points. So let's get started with the ship that he's on. It is a Recusant Light Destroyer with Martuk, Wat Tambour, Ordnance Experts, a Reserve Hangar Deck, Assault Proton Torpedoes, the Link Turbo Laser Towers, and the Gilded Aegis title. We have a Providence Carrier with Rune Hakau, Early Warning System, Intensify Firepower, Point Defense Ion Cannons, the Invincible title, and Thermal Shields. We have another Providence, this is a Dreadnought version, with Intel Officer, Ordnance Experts, Ordnance Pods, Point Defense Ion Cannons, XI-7 Turbo Lasers, and Link Turbo Laser Towers. The second Recusant Light Destroyer has an Intel Officer, a Sensor Team, Reserve Hangar Deck, Salt Concussion Missiles, Swivel Mount Batteries, and the Patriot Fist title. Three Munificent comms frigates, two of them are the same. They're equipped with battle droid reserves, reserve hangar decks, and link turbo laser towers. The third one has disposable capacitors and link turbo laser towers. Moving on to the smaller ships, I have a hard cell transport with Teeks, Commsnet, and the Foreman's Labor title. Another hard cell transport with the parts resupply. I have a hard cell battle refit with reserve hangar deck, link turbo laser towers, and the beast of burden title. And the final capital ship is another hard cell battle refit with reserve hangar deck and link turbo laser towers. Four squadrons. We have PAP, DFS 311, DIS T18, and the Horchow prototypes. And then for generics, I have six of the Tri-Fighters and six of the Vultures. Coming in at 11.93, we have Luminara responding to the distress call at Coruscant and moving her fleet into position. She is on a Venator II class Star Destroyer with flight controllers, boosted comms, and electronic countermeasures. Accompanying this is a fleet of three Venator Ones. The first Venator 1 has Clone Navigational Officer, Clone Gunners, Intensify Firepower, the SFAT, Ordnance Pods, XI-7s, and the Resolute Title. The Resolute Title is starting with three Concentrate Fire and an Engineering. The other two Venators are Venator 1s. They are equipped the same with Navigational Officer, Clone Gunners, SFAT, Ordnance Pods, and XI-7s. With that come three Acclimator II class assault ships. All three of them are equipped the same with gunnery teams, early warning systems, assault photon torpedoes, and swivel mounted batteries. We have 
two Pelta transport frigates. The first one is TB-73, which gives me an additional evade. It is projection experts and comms net. The second one, which is FB-88, has projection experts and comms net as well. I have then three Counselor class Charger C-70s. All of them are equipped with linked turbo laser towers. For fighter complement, we have Plo Koon responding in his Delta 7. We have Ahsoka Tano responding in her Delta 7 with Anakin in his Y-Wing accompanied by Axe and Kickback. We have then three generic V-19 Torrent squadrons. We will see if Luminara is able to help rescue, I almost said Emperor, but it is the Chancellor from the evil, evil Separatists. So here are the three choices that John gave me. Surprise attack, asteroid tactics, and infested fields. I'm going to choose infested fields. Uh, although none of these options are really good for me, uh, surprise attack with raid on everything it just doesn't seem like a good idea. And asteroid tactics, he's just going to get back all of his, his defense tokens. So here we go, infested fields. Here we go with Martuk. Martuk is on that particular recusant, flanked by a Providence uh, Munificent and a couple hard cells. We've got one Vulture out here looking to take advantage of a token, and half of the squads are over here on the other side of this battle refit hard cell. We've got an early warning system up on the front of the Providence. We're just going to put it out now before we forget and uh, we're going to see if we can't navigate around and take out some of John's acclimators with this half of the fleet. Second half of the fleet, the remaining portion of my vultures and uh, tri-fighters. We have the other recusant. It's almost kind of a mirror image of sorts of the other half of the fleet, but I've got the two munificents in here. This one with disposable capacitors looking to get some longer range shots 
These guys are going to have a tough fight because they are going up against the Venators. The Luminara is on her Venator 2 here. I have flanking that Venator 1s with spats and two Peltas to feed tokens. I have all of my squadrons right here going to go and claim some tokens. Then on this side of the map, facing down Martuk himself, is an entire wall of assault ships. First activation of the game. We're going to activate Foreman's Labor. We have a uh, navigate dial. We're going to take it as a token and move forward. Speed two. We're going to start over here with TV 73 revealing Econ Fire and we're going to take it as a token, and then we're going to pass it over to Resolute. And then we're going speed one, and we're going to just move straight ahead. Activating this hard soul over here, squad, we're going to take it as a token. And then move ahead speed two, avoiding the asteroid, but I believe we will overlap that squadron. So John, you can place that wherever you would like. Do you want to put it on the asteroid or not? No, I do not. I'm going to put him right here so he's in definite range of the extra car. We're going to activate FB-88, revealing an engineering, taking it as a token and passing it over to the flagship. We're then going to move forward, speed one, and do a slight turn. I'm gonna run over Anakin. Actually, yeah. Just put him in the corner closest to you, thank you. We're activate this hard cell over here, Beast of Burden. Squad, we're gonna use the squadron command to activate this vulture droid. We're just gonna put him right on the corner and take the objective token. So one for me. Flip your thing. Your uh, command. And then we're going to move speed two. And hold the extra growth down. Plenty of room. We're going to go now with the flagship, with Luminara. She's revealing a Navigate. We're going to take it as a token, and we're going to continue our slow push forward at speed one. Activate this Munificent Comms Frigate. Nav, we're going to take it as a token, and then move speed two. Going with Venator number one, we are going to reveal a Navigate. We're going to take it as a token, and this is going the fastest in my fleet. It's going speed two. And it should be fine, and land right there. The problem is getting this maneuver tool out. And then uh, we do not deploy spat. 
We're gonna activate the Munificent over here. Nav, we're gonna take it as a token. This one is currently moving speed one. It's gonna stay at speed one. And just move forward, getting inching closer to that asteroid. Acclimator five is revealing a Navigate. We're gonna take it as a token and we're gonna move our speed one forward. We're gonna activate the little hard cell that could in the back. Nav, we're gonna take that as a token. Then we're gonna use parts resupply to pass engineering tokens to the Munificent, the Providence, and the Recusant. Everything's within range five, just so you guys can see. And then we're gonna move speed one. We're gonna go with number 11. We're revealing a navigate. We're going to use it. We're gonna drop speed to speed one because I kinda just wanna keep this wall of death moving forward. So. There. We're going to activate Rune Hackow's Providence Nav. We're going to use the dial and use it to drop to speed one and eek forward. So we're going to go with number 10. It's revealing and navigate. We're going to drop to speed one and then we're going to do this really, really lame way to move forward because maneuver tools are hard and I'm going to just slide it forward along this ruler edge right to there. Activating this Rakusen. So, uh, navigate, we're going to take it as a token. Move speed two. We're going to activate number nine. We're revealing a navigate. We're going to drop to speed one, and we're going to do the exact same thing again. And of course, Ken and I did talk about this before I started doing it. It's just, there's just so much that in a 1200 point game, things are so tight. Any way to help speed it along is a good thing. Activate this comms frigate. Nav, I'm going to use the dial. I'm just going to give myself that extra click on the first joint to really shift me over. So this is one heck of a sidestep. Acclimator 6 is going to reveal a navigate. We're going to take it as a token and then we're going to cleverly slide forward and align ourselves with everything else. Could I have done this formation any tighter? Probably not. Martuk, Nav, we're gonna drop down to speed one and move forward. I have enough space between my ships to put this tool down. <laughs> Acclimator four, we have a Navigate. We're gonna take it as a token. And we're going to complete this wall of movement. My final ship, Providence, Nav, we will take it as a token and then move forward speed two. My two last shifts are Venators. We're gonna start with Venator number two. It's got a nav, we're gonna take it as a token. And we're going to go ahead and move forward. Do we wanna turn? No, we're gonna just go ahead forward one. And then we're gonna look at range to decide if I'm gonna drop a stack. I'm 
we're not going to. So moving right along to the Resolute, we have a Navigate. We're gonna take it as a token. We're gonna go speed one. We're gonna land right there. And we're also not gonna drop this pack. At the start of the squadron phase, the Exergoths go off. This one's going to hit you right here with three blue dice. For nothing. I'll take that. He comes up, and then I move this obstacle to. Right to there. The other Exergoth, he's going to attack that vulture. Three blue dice again. Could I get a hit? Yes, two but hits. Two hits. And you're activated. Yes, he is. So let me put him down to one and that. And then you get to move. Right to there. So it moves right to there. Beginning of the squadron phase, well, at least the part where fighters are moving, we're going to move a couple vultures forward. Start over here. I'm not going to go all the way up, just far enough. And then this guy is going to go over here. So for my movement, this guy in the back is going to hop over, landing on this debris field right there, claiming me the token. The next generic green guy is going to fly forward, landing on that asteroid, also giving me the token for that. So, because uh, John deprived me of the ability to take that uh, token early, I'm going to take one of my tri fighters and I shall collect it now. And because everyone should have a friend, we're going to move this one and put them next to him. We're going to activate Anakin. He's going to fly forward. He's going to land right dab on the middle of that guy, claiming me the last token, giving me a 15 point lead from the objective. Now we have to start blowing things up. Yes. Yes, we do. Now, for fighters, this guy is going to fly forward right next to his friend. And bring some more tri fighters forward. They can go beyond past these vultures, so I'm just going to drop them right behind. I'm going to activate the two generics, and they're going to be. Actually, one's actually not a generic. This guy is going to fly over to here, and this guy is going to fly right over to there. Let's continue our movement forward. We're going to move this tri-fighter forward, it's maybe over here, so he can make it almost all the way out. And then from the background, we have this tri-fighter. Out there. My activation, we're going to move Plo Koon right here on this asteroid, and then Ahsoka is going to fly up to here, and that is the rest of my squadron, so the rest are you, Ken. Let's get some more of these vultures moving forward. So they only move speed four, but that's plenty what I kind of want to do with them. Now I have my aces in the background. Right Move poor Chow far forward as he can go. 
And then this one over here is disc 311. Then the two ace tri fighters. Oops, he is not on health one. He's on health three. Yet, he's not on health one yet. Yet, yeah. And I think that's a squad. Placing exergoths. We're gonna love tap in. Right there. And right there. At the start of turn two, Resolute is spending off a Concentrate Fire token to activate Intensify Firepower. Moving into the activations. So this hard cell over here is going to use a nav to drop down to speed zero, and John, let you make a decision on what you want to move. We're going to activate FB88. And we're going to use the ability before revealing the dial. I discard the top dial, and then I'm going to reveal a squadron. And we're going to take it as a token, and we're going to pass it over to the flagship. And then we're going speed one. Which looks like. I gotta bump Anakin out of the way, just with the tip. Looks like that. Activate Beast of Burden. Squadron. We're gonna use that to move this lone vulture. And we're gonna put the vulture over here. Just because why not? Let's get a fighter out there. And we're stuck moving speed two, and I kind of measured this around a little bit, and I'm going to overlap the debris field whether I want to or not. It's a good placement for John. Thank you. And I'm just going to suffer it off the rear. This is ballsy. Number 11 is revealing a navigate, and we're dropping to speed zero. Nothing's in range. We're going to activate the foreman's labor. We are going to reveal the squadron dial. When we do that, we're going to take a squadron dial or a token and put it on T case. We're going to gain a confire and get rid of the nav. Then we are going to comms net that uh, confire token to the providence on the other side of the board. Okay. Using the dial, we're going to activate two squadrons. We're going to start with this tri-fighter here. And we have plenty of room to go right up to your V-19 generic. So let's just get within range here. And we're going to attack. So we get two blues and a red and I'm going to throw in another blue with AI. Actually, you do that think, after you do that for now. So there's that. There's a blue. <laughs> okay, cool. Wow. Okay, so nothing happens. I do get a counter you. You do get a counter. Because Plo Koon is within distance 1 
of him. So that is one blue dice. Hey, wow. take one damage, you, man. You get a hit there. Right, so here's one. Valiant attempt. We're going to do the same thing with another tri fighter. This time you get swarm. I do get swarm this time. So maybe, maybe I'll You're hit something. Only engaging him. Uh, yeah, I should not be engaging anybody else. So here we go. Same dice. Ooh, that's pretty good. And then let's AI that one. Hey, four hits. Yeah, I have to take four. And then you uh, you get the counter. I counter back. Four hit. Four hit. I think that might have been worthwhile, Joe. Forward two. I think I'm going to do a slight angle here just so I avoid bumping into a couple other things. I'm going to overlap him for sure. And I'm going to overlap, I think I'm going to overlap both. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that one. go with Loom. She's revealing a squadron. We're going to spend the token and we're going to get six squadrons. I was just telling Ken, there's probably a really good way how to do this. And I honestly just don't know how that is. So I have boosted comms and flight controllers, so I can activate all of my squadrons. And we're going to move this guy forward, and he's going to move as far as he can, actually, because I want to get as much as I can. And he's just going to choose one of those guys, the guy right in front of me, okay. and we're going to attack. That is Axe. He gets two blues and a red, plus a blue from flight controllers, and I'm swarm because you're connected to my other guy. Here we go. Uh, ba -boom. There's two. Two, I believe that kills him. I'm trying, to, I don't think I got anything that's gonna. All right, so he'll die, but he gets the counter. Yep, that's counter two. Yep. No, counter two. For one hit, and then with swarm. So only one. So cool. I will just take one. So that's one squadron. So this Munificent is going to spend out its reserve hangar deck. And we have to stay within distance one. Activated. I'm just going to put it right over here next to it. It's going to be kickback. Kickback is going to come up and is going to land in the distance one from that guy. We're gonna hit you with three blues and a red because of flight controllers with swarm. Four, take two, you're take dead. Two. He'll die. This wreck you sent. Yes. Will burn its reserve hangar deck. Bring it back. And then you counter. Yeah, so he'll counter first. Yep. And he'll still remain activated. But let's roll that counter. It's counter to two, right? For one. Okay, and I'm going to uh, spend my evade for max. Cancel it out. Okay. That's now two. And he can move, and I'm going to move him here, which should have those two engaged. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to move this guy on two health. One to be there. We're going to move him 
something like that. Forgot about this guy. And we're gonna hit that guy because he does not have counter. No, that's Vulture, no counter. No counter, and he is just a generic, so he's again three blues and a red. And I get swarm on this. Which I'll need, so we're gonna re-roll the blue. Boom. Vulture dead. That's a dead one. Uh not going to burn anything on that, so he's just going to go away. We're going to activate now Anakin, and Anakin is going to move his three over to here. I want to stay outside of bad range, inside of that, but outside of that guy. A lot of inside outsides. Okay, so we're going to go with that guy, Anakin, against that guy. He gets four blues because of flight controller against that vulture. Oof. We're going to adopt two of these. Mm -hmm. Four, take two. Two. Now, Ahsoka's going to go. And Ahsoka is going to fly, I think, up to here if she can land and avoid being in range of that Exergoth. Let's see. Nope. So we'll move over here instead. About there. We'll engage both of those guys. Now that is an ace. Yeah, I know. Okay. And uh, we'll probably. Oh, so sorry. When I land, I get to uh, activate another fighter to uh, attack. Mm -hmm. So it will be this guy against the ace with two okay. blues. Here we go. Or block your scatter, take one. Well, I guess I'm taking one then. So let me take the one. And then I get a counter of two. Now I believe I can... Don't have anything in swarm or is that vulture in range? Uh, no swarm. Okay, no swarm. So, so. Uh, you're going to take one. Okay, so yeah, I just take one. This guy was just slightly out of position for this. And then when he's done doing that, he gets to move. And we're going to uh, move him over here, so now he's outside of the Exergoth range. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have one fighter left. Oh no, actually no, Ahsoka you, you gets to attack. attack. Ahsoka? Yeah. <laughs> Ahsoka interrupts her attack phase, which is frustrating. So we're going to... Attack with Ahsoka again. Still going after Dis, or you want to go against the Tri Fighter? We're going to go after Dis. So okay. I'm going to roll in with four blues and a black. Okay. And I have Adept one. And I block both your tokens and you die. Huh. Yeah, I do. Uh... You can't bring them back. He's an ace. Yeah. That, that that just that's not fun, John. But that's okay. I get to shoot at you though with counter two, and I believe well, Ahsoka's got enough tokens to prevent. I might as well just give you the one Noah scatter. Okay, I will spend with Axe the brace to say that I reduce it by one. Okay, and then my last squadron mm -hmm. is going to be. I believe a generic. And the generic is going to move forward to about here and engage all of those. Okay. And we're gonna attack a we're gonna attack that vulture. vulture. So again, this is three reds and a blue. 
and I don't think I have anything in range of that, so it will just be what lies. Or take two. Well, I have to take the two, because there's nothing I can do about that. I don't get any fun stuff like counters and whatnot. Okay, I feel that's a pretty successful squadron phase. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're going to just move one forward. Nothing's in range that I can shoot. I can't do anything. Yeah. So we're now just going to move our speed one forward. Right to there. We got the comms frigate over here. Nav, I'm going to use the dial, drop it to speed zero, and let you go take the next move, John. We're going to go with the number 10. He's revealing a navigate. We're going to drop to speed zero, and we're going to sit where we're at. This comms frigate, uh, concentrate fire. We're going to take that as a token. No shots. I'm going to spend out the nav token, drop to speed one, and then move forward. Kind of a weird standoff of sorts going here, John. Number nine is going to activate. It's going to reveal a navigate. We're going to drop to speed zero, leaving a standoff wall of very vulnerable ships right there. Rune Hakau, we're going to activate his Providence. Nav, we're going to use it as the dial. I have no shots. So, I'm going to increase to speed 2, and we're going to overlap that Tri-Fighter. I'm going to just snatch him. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to avoid the Exergorth. I'm going to land on an Asteroid. And the crit is, fortunately, Coolant Discharge, so only one attack you perform each round can target a ship. Sweet. Yep. Is that your Super Salvo ship? Uh, that one is not, no. Okay. Okay, we're going to activate this number four acclimator. We have a Concentrate Fire. We're going to use it, and we're also going to put our Swivel Mount on the front, because that's where it goes. Now, I'm going to make a long-range shot. You have... EWS on the front, so mm -hmm. I will have to drop a die. Oh well, I have to drop one of my three reds. Would you like to do anything before I start rolling in, Ken? No. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll in two red dice. And then we're going to swivel mount in a black dice. And then we're going to add in an additional black dice. Whoa! Seven damage. Huh, okay, so seven damage. We will brace that down to four. Mm -hmm. We will redirect that to my port side. And I think... Yeah, that's, I think, all I'm going to do for the moment, so... Okay, before that happens, I ATP you. Yeah, that was going to be the thing. Let's see what happens. Blinded Gunners. While attacking, I cannot spend accuracy icons. Perfect. All right. So we're going to push... Can you take four? One, two, three, so no shields on this side, and then one on the front. Okay, then I move speed one straight ahead. We're going to activate the hard cell over here in the corner. Nav, take that as the dial. Let's spend out the squadron token. Activate the vulture here. And we're going to move as close as we can. I believe that gives us a bombing run on that number 10. Right in the middle? Yep, right in the middle. No defense tokens. Correct. And I get an accuracy. That is it. I can't do anything about that, can I? No, well, you can't. it was worth a shot. So then with that, we're going to drop to speed one. Because I got nothing else in range. And there we go. 
Okay, now we're going to go with number five. Number five is revealing a concentrate fire. We're going to use it. And when we reveal, we're going to put swivel mount on the front. We're going to start off by making a long range attack against the side. And do I want to do the side? No, we'll do the front because you're moving into the front range. We'll do the front of your ship. Okay. So that's going to be three reds. Woo! We're going to add in a black dice. Then we're going to concentrate fire in a black dice. For you can't brace and you can't evade. Take two. To the front, huh? To the front. Well, I guess I'm going to redirect to the side. Because you're shooting the front, so we're going to take one down there, one from the front. Then we're going to flak at close range that vulture right there with a blue and a black, I believe is what the ship has. Yes, a blue and a black. Take two. Well, I believe that kills it. No, it's on... It's on... Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, because we are within range five of... Uh, the hard sell with the hard reserve. Cell. We'll burn the re, uh, reserve hangar deck, bring it back at distance one, and it gains a health, or at two, distance one. So we're going to put him, how about over here? Perfect. I like my slide method of movement better. It was actually <laughs> easier. We are going to activate Martuk's Recusant. We have a squadron command. We're going to use it. Two squadrons. Conveniently, there are two right here. And they're by an Exergorth, so I'm going to deny you the ability to use those. And we are going to move. We can touch the front. I just want to get this guy out far enough where we can still bomb you. So let's do that. We bomb with black dice. So there's one that jumps out of the tray for hit crit, but only the hit matters. I take a damage. All right, then we're going to do the second one and pretty much do the exact same thing. We'll wind up right about here. And we will bomb with him. One black die. For nothing. Yep. Perfect. I have no shots, so we're just going to move forward. Speed one. Do I land on the... Yeah. Yeah, I touched him. So that's one damage, and I suffered anywhere I want, right? Correct. So off the rear. Okay, we're going to activate the last acclimator over here. It's going to be revealing a concentrate fire. A big surprise. We're going to start off by throwing the swivel mount onto the front. And then we're going to be shooting. Woo! That was dangerous. Mm. Shooting the front of that Providence at long range. It's New Republic weaponry, right? Yes. <laughs> That's what the spat's going to look like, but with a laser. Okay, so then we're going to start by rolling in two reps. For an accuracy and a hit, we're going to swivel mount in a black dice. For a blank, and then we're going to concentrate fire in a black dice. Boom, 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 boom. So that's three with an accuracy. Three, and you cannot redirect. No redirect. All right, we're at long range, correct? Correct. And I have three total. This is... I'd lose a die. <laughs> I think I'm going to take the three. Before you do that, yeah, I get the. You uh, get an ATP. All right. Ruptured engine. After I execute a maneuver, if the speed on your dial is greater than one, suffer one damage. And I take three. One, two, three. Okay. And then we're going to flak both those fighters. Mm -hmm. We're going to shoot the one that's closer to me. The black and a blue for two. Okay. And then the one that's farther away from me for one. Okay. And then I actually can do the slide method for this. 
is removing speed one. Right to there. That's being this comms frigate. Nav, we're going to take that as a token. And then move speed two. We're going to start turning here. There you go. Okay, this guy is revealing a concentrate fire. We're taking it as a token and we're comms netting it over to this guy. And then we're going to move our distance one forward. And we'll be hitting that probably next turn. That debris field in front of me. Activating the Providence here. Nav, we're going to use it as a dial. I have no shots. So let's just go ahead and drop down to speed one. Let your Venators come to me. We're going to activate this Venator here, number two. It's revealing... Taking two dials. <laughs> Surprise, it's the same thing. Uh, it's a Concentrate Fire. We're going to take it as the token. And then we're going to make this long range shot against your guy and see what we get. I just realized that, you know, this intensified firepower, I could have added more damage into you. Mm -hmm. Cool. We won't forget this time for take three XI sevens. Three XI sevens. So I am going to uh, evade the crit. And then that leaves two, so let's go ahead and we'll brace it and redirect it to the side. Okay. And we're gonna move one straight ahead like this with a little bit of a curve. Wonder why I'm doing that. Then we're gonna throw out a uh, stat laser. Yeah. Here it comes. You can hear it charging. Final ship, Reiki sent over here. Squadrons, we're going to use it. I've got all these squadrons available in range, so let's start with the vault or the tri fighter rather. I want to go after this guy. So we're just going to hang out right about here. Don't really want to be engaged with Ahsoka. So let's go ahead and make my shot against you there. So that's two blues and a red. For... It doesn't matter. That's yeah. stacked. It'll kill them. So that's two. You're dead. Yep. Right? Woo. And then I'm going to move the Hort Chow guy. And I'm actually going to go ahead and directly engage. Yeah, you know what? Better idea. We're going to engage over here. And attack. So that's a black anti. Blue. We are going to AI in a black Four, three. I have to take three. So there's the squadron command. I have no shots. We're going to spend the token to drop down to speed one. And then we're going to move the one. And we are clear. We're going to activate number three first. It is revealing a concentrate fire. We are going to shoot out my front into the front of that ship. And uh, let's do it. That's going to be three reds. Three reds. And then we're going to add in, big surprise, a red. Here we go. Ah, that's Jeez. pretty fantastic. 
What's that in a red? Pretty equally fantastic. Six on four. Ten, days. ten, ten, ten. We're going to add in Clone Gunner from this ship, spending this confire to add in that, saying you cannot brace. Take six. XI seven. Well, for hit the thought. Clearly, I have to redirect one over. We're at long range. I guess I'm going to salvo back. So I have to take what? Six. six one crit. So one, two, three, four, five. Final one is the crit. The crit is damaged munitions. While attacking, before you roll your attack pool, remove one die of your choice. Does that happen before or after salvo? Uh, you've declared salvo. Salvo takes place after damage, so you only salvo me with one. Okay. So here's the single salvo. It's a double. I'm going to leave it. Okay. So I'm going to... It doesn't really matter. Where's my defense tokens for this? We're going to uh, brace it, and we're going to uh, redirect it over to this side. And that is all the attacks I can make. So we're going B2 currently. I have a nav token and I don't know their, their chart. I think we're gonna do this maneuver. I'm gonna just slide him to the side. And land right there. After landing, we're going to throw out my spat token. To B. Right there. My last ship is going to be the Resolute. It's going to be revealing. Concentrate fire. When I reveal it, I'm going to use the clone navigational officer to throw a uh, con fire over to here because I really need to get those bats back. And then we'll use it as a dial. So we're going to make an attack long range against the front of that munificent. Mm -hmm. That's going to be three reds. Roll it in, and then we'll see what happens afterwards. Oh, jeez, you're doubles on this game, John. It's like I'm rolling for you. And then we're going to roll in another dice. Whew. How much health do they have? Uh, they have six, so you need five more hits on it. So regardless, I won't be able to kill it this round. Uh, probably not, no. Like, so what I'm thinking is if I were to do clone gunner stuff again, mm -hmm. I won't be able to kill you because I needed one more damage, really, to do it. At, at least one more, and it would have to be a crit. Yep. Okay. I do that. Okay, so we're taking four. With XI-7s. So you're not doing the clone gunners thing. Nope. So we're going to brace that to two. All right, well, I guess we're going to spend out the redirect. I'm going to push it to the opposite side, and then I will take one regular hit, correct? Yep. Okay, so because I did a command off resolute, I get a concentrate fire token. Mm -hmm. I'm moving speed one. We will do this turn. And then we will throw a spat token out the side. Right to there. Okay, start of the squadron phase. F Exergoths go. This guy has no one to attack, so he will be able to move that up to two. And I think we're going to move it. 
over to there. Lovely spot for it. I figured you would enjoy that. This other one also has nothing to attack, so it comes up. And then this guy will fly up to here. So getting into the squadron phase proper, let's start with this vulture droid. And we are attacking the V-19 generic for nothing but we'll swarm the black for still nothing. I'm surprised I'm still alive. And you're uh, gonna do the same with the other the vulture? Same thing with the other vulture. Same dice. For two hits, now it's dead. Boom. So this guy is gonna run up to here to help protect Ahsoka. And then Plo is going to land right behind over here, like that. So we're gonna move Pap into the battle over here. Kind of forcing you to kill him. And then this vulture droid is gonna be very, very brave and attack Anakin. Jeez, come on, Kenneth. For two. I brace it to one. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That, that was nuts. Bouncy tray. And then it's your last two. Yeah, you're up. Okay, so. Here's if you move. The attack is obstructed. You may force the attack for your roll in here. Okay. Let's get. Let's engage Anakin on a couple fronts here. And this tri fighter can go after the generic. Yep. So let's do that. I don't think that generic is engaged with anyone else. Nope. So. I didn't want you to have swarm. Yeah, it's okay. Wow. Well, I will counter you with one from mm -hmm. uh, that guy. And you are engaged with more than one of me, though. So, yeah. I get swarm. For one hit. Right, one hit. We can do one hit. Is that for the squadron phase? Yes, oh. and... You get to place your extra gourds. Extra gourds, go. Chomp! Turn three. We're going to start by spending the Confire token off the Providence and get in, uh, Intensify Firepower running for me. And I'm going to put it over here so maybe I remember it. Well, I'm going to maybe remember it this time too. And I'm going to spend off the Resolute, the Confire token, to attempt to remember. So then the first activation I have for this round is going to be Munificent number two. And I'm showing a confire, we're going to take it as the dial. I'm going to double arc the Venator here. We're at long range. So let's start with the forward shot. So it's my front to your front. For a crit, we get to add in Martuk for nothing. Let's confire in now. Jeez. Uh, let's LTT then. <laughs> then set. So it's just not my day, is it? Uh, so hit crit. So that is against number two. Against I number two. will salvo you because this is from your front. It's from my front. For two damage and 
we will brace it to one. So we will brace it to one to the front and then we will shoot you back with my salvo for take one. Excellent stuff. You know, I don't have a redirect anyways on that. Uh, I have to take one damage. Then we get the side shot. So again, because of uh, damaged munitions, I'm down a die. So start with two. This is a little bit better. Martuk. Ooh. Um, yeah, all right, take three crits. Okay, I will redirect all to the side. And when I do that with Luminar, I'm going to gain back my brace. There we go. And I think what I'm going to do here... Well, Rami, won't it? No, I don't think so. What I'm going to do instead, then, John. Juicy, juicy shot for you there, too. Yeah, I don't like that option. So I guess we're going to do speed, too. I bumped you a little bit, but not enough to... Right, there we go. We're gonna activate the guy that has been damaged, number 10, revealing a navigate, so obviously I'll jump up to speed one. Mm -hmm. I will be shooting at long range into the front of this heart cell with two red dice. For take two hits. I'm actually going to re-roll one with Link Turbo Laser Towers for a crit. So we're at long range. Are we at medium range to that acclimator closest to me or is that still long? That is a good question. It is just medium. So I'm gonna cancel the crit. And take one. Okay. And I'm going to have to, I'm gonna just slide this guy over just slightly. I'm gonna overlap just the one. The slide was so useful. Lift right there. We're going to activate this munificent sitting right here. Uh, we're going to use disc caps, so I'm firing now at uh, Blues It Long. Revealing the Confire to a dial, we're going to use it. And let's get our first shot. So I'm going to go from my front to the front of Venator number two. So that's two reds, two blues. And then we're going to Martuk in a red. And that's pretty good. So let's use... I'm going to use the dial here. We're going to bring in another red. And you know what? I'm just going to leave that as such because with my luck if I try fishing for doubles that's not going to help me out. So I am going to block your, we're going to block your brace, take five. I will use my contain and because I did that I get my evade back. So three to the front shields and two all. No crits. Then we're going to make a long range shot from my side to the side of Venator number three. So we start with three reds. We will Martuk. And I kind of want to go for one more, so let's LTT that one. Still the same, so four. So on um, that ship. That's number three. We will brace it. 
to two. Take the two. And then because we're at range five from this ship, this ship will gain back its... Oh, that's going to be really difficult. Um, contain. Okay. So now I have to move. And I'm just going to move forward. I'm moving at speed one. And there we go. Okay, we're going to activate number 11. We're going to do a long range shot into the front of that hard cell again. And uh, we're revealing a nav and we're going to jump up to speed one with it. So here we go. Two red dice. Four. We're going to reroll this hit. And then turn it back into a hit. So take two with a crit. Two with a crit. Now it's going to my front. So we will brace that to one. So you spent out your brace? No, because I spent the evade last turn. Ah, okay, cool. And we'll just take the one. Activating the hard cell. Confire, we're going to use it as the dial. I'm going to take my shot. It's long range against the uh, one ship, still at speed zero. Let's take the shot while I get a chance. It is obstructed, though. So we're going to take our three reds, drop down to two. We're going to add in one for Martuk. And you can concentrate fire in on that gun. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to concentrate fire in on that. And the one time I don't need accuracies. Uh, so let's uh, LTT one of these accuracies. Uh, all right, so take four with the crit. Ooh, that's going to blow out some shields. And then I'm going to take the crit on to number, that's nine? Number nine, yeah. Your engineering value is reduced by half. I'm going to take an additional damage. Okay. I have no other shots, because the only thing I could do is shoot at something that's obstructed. We're moving at speed one. I bumped. Okay, so we're going to definitely activate that ship. And we have a Navigate, and we're going to be using it. I have into the front of that hard cell, long range. It's just barely out of medium, which is what I wanted. Two dice for an accuracy. And then we're going to LTT this one. And then we're going to turn it into a hit, and we're going to say you can't evade. And this is against the uh, front of the, front of the hard front, cell. Of the hard cell. All right. If I can't evade, let's go ahead and spend the redirect then, and we'll push it over that way. Okay. I will overlap that guy. And you're gonna do your little thingy. Yep. He's just gonna move in right there. Let's activate Gilded Aegis. Nav, we are going to take that as a token. We're going to make our shot at long range against the uh, C70. It, we measured it with the laser. It's just unobstructed. So four reds. And let's... Do I have LTTs on this one? I do. Let's LTT it. Uh, so I'm going to make you take five, and you may not. Uh, what are the tokens in that one? Evade, redirect, and contain. Well, you can't evade that. Okay, then I uh, blow up. Yeah. So uh, I will not use anything. Mm -hmm. So it's a crit, thruster malfunction, and then four more cards. Mm -hmm. and these go into the discard pile. That ship explodes. Ken has destroyed the first ship. Woo. I think there's going to be a lot more ships that I, are going to die. I, I suspect that we're going to see a lot less uh, in the not-too-distant future. I do not have another shot, so I'm just going to move forward. And now this is what kind of stinks, because I'm going to land on an Exergorth and 
on an asteroid. So I believe I get to choose the order in which I take those? Yes, you do. So let's take the crit first, the crit being point defense failure. So while I'm attacking a squadron, I remove a die, and then I'll just go ahead and remove one from the rear for the Exergorth. We're going to go with number four. Number four is reviewing a concentrate fire, and we're going to shoot long range obstructed into both these ships. We're going to start with the shot against the wreck, and that's going to be two reds for one hit, and then we're going to add in swivel, and then we're going to add in concentrate fire. Boom, 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 and then we're going to turn this into a, another hit with intensify. So we're long range, correct? Yes, we are. So let's start by, uh, we're going to evade the double, because I don't want the APTs to go off, leaving me with three, which I am going to redirect. So we'll do one, two, three. Okay, because I used Concentrate Fire, I can now shoot into the front of your ship. Over there. Here we go. There, and we're going to swivel in the dice. Into the tray. And we'll hit that for take three. Okay, three into the front of the Providence. Brace it to two. We'll redirect to the side. I'm not going to sell, though. Okay. And we move forward our one. That will be a juicy shot next turn. Activating Foreman's Labor Squadron. Let's use it. I'm going to start with this Vulture Droid over here on one. Let's go after Anakin because let's try it. So we get the two, they're the blue and the black. I got a black with AI. Wow, I'm just it. doing great. Let's swarm that black. Cool. So Anakin chooses to spend zero, and when he spends zero, he will, on um, number three, say he regains a brace. Uh, let's 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 do this again here, and this time we're going to use. Uh, come on, activate. Sticky activation sliders. All right, this is uh, DFS three. 11, he actually rolls a black and a red. Okay, and then we swarm, or AI in that. I can swarm this. Oof. Four. I brace it to two. And we have a double arc from the hard sell on Anakin. So here's the left side shot for nothing. I will refresh my brace. And then here's the main one for one. I will take one. And now I unfortunately have to move. Yeah, I'm definitely hitting that asteroid. There's nothing I can do to prevent that. Do I miss the Exergorth? I do, just barely, I think. What do you think? You're good. So I take a, <laughs> take a crit. See, Crit's the name of the game. It really is, John. So the crit is crew panic. Before I reveal command dial, suffer damage or discard the dial. Perfect. We're gonna activate acclimator number five. We have a concentrate fire. And we're going to use it. And... I'm actually going to shoot into your front at long range. It's going to be obstructed regardless because of that mm -hmm. and your ship in the way. So we're going to start off with, I said concentrated fire, right? You did. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sometimes I forget. There's a lot going on. Two reds into your front. Cool. Okay. And then we're going to add in a black with uh, the thing. Uh, let him down. 
And then we're going to throw in another black of concentrate fire. Wow. And then we turn that into that, and I say you can not redirect. Can't redirect. And I have two? You have two with a crit. Two with a crit. So we're going to spend the contain. We're at long range, so I can't do anything else. So that's one, two. Okay, and now we're going to shoot into the side of this hard cell at medium range. So we get three reds and a blue. You just dodge close range. <laughs> and we're going to add in a black dice. And then turn it into a hit. So currently that's what's coming in. So two, four, six. So let's see if I can cancel out, cancel out the double, double in one of the crits, leaving me with three. And you're hitting me with no shields on that side, right? Correct. So we'll spend out the redirect to push two over. You better spend yeah. everything out or you or you take a crit. Yeah, I'll take a crit. What do you left? That other acclimator still is yet to? This acclimator. I'm going to hold on to the brace. I'm going to take one crit. So one, two. The crit is power failure. Engineering value reduced in half. Okay, I don't think you're planning on doing many... I'm going to be surprised if I'm around much longer. I'm going to slide point. this guy just out of the way a little bit, and we're going to do this. And this guy can move back to there. Heart's all in the corner. I want to see what John does next. We're going to act. Uh, take this as a token, the engineering, getting rid of the nav. And then back to you, John. Okay, we're going to activate this Pelta. We're revealing an engineering and we're going to be taking it as a token. I wish I could do the projection, you know, passing, but I am literally... It's like plastic to plastic. Just no, out I'm of, just out of plastic, because yeah. if it was plastic to plastic, I would be in range right, right. to do it. Um, so instead, we're going to take this close range shot into the front of this hard cell that's sitting right in front of me. And it's pretty much just us. The dice lie. Two reds and a black into your front. Four. Five, huh? Take five. Well, I think we are going to cancel or re-roll uh, re the, the uh, double on the black deck. Or take five. Okay, then we are going to brace that to three. I'll redirect to the left side, and before I suffer damage with Foreman's Labor, since the defending hull zone has at least one shield remaining, I can exhaust it to reduce the total damage by one. So let me make sure that I'm doing the math right. So we have five, I brace it to three, reduce that to two, and then I can redirect. Yes, either way it, the math works out the same way. Just making sure. So we're going to push one here and take one here. And then I do that, because i got to get closer to my ships. Mm -hmm. We're going to activate the Providence Invincible. Nav, we are going to take that as a dial. So we're revealing the command. We're going to use Rune Hakau. We've got a ship at distance one to five. We're getting a concentrate fire token from Rune. We're then going to spend the engineering token that gives us two and we're going to take two shields from the rear and put two shields on the front. That'll give us a little bit more padding I hope. We are now going to make shots from my side to the front of your acclimator so right here it's obstructed because of EWS and it is medium range. Okay and I cannot use spend 
uh, my accuracy tokens in this attack. So I'm going to drop a blue. I am going to concentrate fire to re-roll the red. And I'm going to intensify that to give you four damage to the front. That is number four. That is number four. Number four is going to say he's going to brace it, mm -hmm. he's going to redirect it, mm -hmm. and he's going to sell volume. Okay. So he's going to place two damage over to this side over here. And we're at medium range, so I'm going to be throwing a blue and a red at you. Mm -hmm. Into that side pocket. Yep. Or take a hit crit. A hit crit. Um, we'll spend out the redirect. We're gonna go one and one. Okay. Then I have to move. I do have a nav. Don't I? You do. That may just hit your heart cell. It's kind of what I'm wondering. It's either just not or just is. I know, or I'm really close to. So you know what? Let's let's try it, John. We're gonna try it. So we're gonna drop to speed one, double crank. You are definitely hitting. Definitely hitting it. So I'm staying where I'm at, and I'm going to take one damage on the Providence and one on that hard cell, which is number eight. It leaves you at long range to me too. It does. Okay, we're gonna activate this acclimator and we're gonna shoot that Providence. We are at long range for our first attack. We are revealing, this is a huge surprise, a concentrate fire. So let's do it. So obstructed, so I get two reds. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then we're gonna use um, the, uh, whatever it's called, swivel to put in a black. And then we're gonna use concentrate fire to put in another black. Four. Four total. Four total. We're gonna spend out the brace. So that, that brings that down to two, and we're going into my front, correct? Yep, I have to. So we have a crit in there. I'm gonna have to contain that. So I only have one shield left. So no shield. I might as well salvo as well. Okay, so your salvo does nothing. Oh, we're long range. Yes. Uh, not medium. Well, then why would I want to salvo? You wouldn't. Right. No, I thought we were medium. We're long. So Otherwise, I would have had more dice on you. Yeah, yeah. So there's the one and a regular hit, correct? Yeah, that is not fun. So at this point, I have to make a hard decision. And you have any shields on the ship? No, what do you have left? You just have a brace? On that, I have a brace. That's it. All your stuff's going to be surviving for one more turn, and that's really frustrating. So we're going to uh, shoot the hard cell. Okay. So we're going to shoot in three reds and a blue. Or you're dead. But here's yeah. a boom. Very dead. So just for those interested, the crit is, there's the structural damage. We knew it had to come up eventually, right? I just needed to get a guaranteed kill. No, you got one. I was hoping that you yeah. wouldn't get that accuracy. And you got it on the red die. I did. We're gonna activate Beast of Burden. Concentrate fire, we're gonna use it. I have a long range shot. We're gonna go against the front of your vendor from my front. Okay. So we have three reds. Good start. Let's confire in another red. And then we do have Martuk as well. No, we don't because you, uh, you have no shields there. Correct. Uh, but we can LTT this one. 
and then we will intensify that into a hit. So take four. Okay. We will... Hmm, there's a lot of crits. I think this is going to be a non-regenerating token round. So brace it. And we will redirect both over to here. So I do not have a second shot. So I'm going to move speed two. I'm going to temporarily move this over. There. Okay, we're going to activate the flagship. Big surprise. Squadrons. I get to activate five. We're going to start by reaching over to Anakin. Anakin says he's going to spend the token, and now he is no longer engaged with anybody. Mm -hmm. And we're going to move over here. And shoot into your non side. Okay. It's a red and a blue. Uh, okay. And I have a duck too. And he's a bomber. I need that structural. Boom. All right, so two. We're going to, with point defense, let's have you re-roll the crit. If it's a three, that would even be better. Ah, it's an accuracy. Okay. So. And then I am going to salvo back. Okay. And since you're right there, I get a rainbow. Uh, you get uh, maybe two blacks. Because oh, right. This is anti-squadron. I'm sorry. Thank you. So here we go. Two blacks for two hits. Okay. I uh, will spend my one that's green, and then I will ready my other one that's red. And I will take one. And you already took one damage? Uh, then I have to take one damage. Yeah. I should have crit fish for the other one. Okay, so that's one squadron. Mm -hmm. So then this next squadron is going to activate this guy to shoot that guy. Okay. And that one's locking my Ahsoka down and does not like it. So that is going to be a red and two blues plus flight controllers, which is three blues with war. This nice. is against PAP, right? No, that's oh. against this Tri-Fighter uh, that's tri locking me down. Okay. For you're very dead. It is very dead, but I get a counter. You do. So, all right, we'll pull that off. Although, hang on, do I have... I don't think I do. Uh, that's the closest. You are in range. All right. So we'll, we'll spend that to let him live... Here, ish. Okay. And he's activated, so that goes to that side, right? <laughs> We're turn three. Yes. And then he gets his counter, which is two blues. And you, I got a swarm, right? You do. For one. For one, and I will cancel that with Axe, is he bait? And then I will take one from that guy. Now, that guy has been activated. We're going to attack Ahsoka against Paps. Ahsoka will be getting four blues and a black and have adapt one. Was that squadron at distance one of Pap? Yeah, I took a damage from Oh, okay. It because you countered me right. for one, I canceled it right, and then with you took Axe, it. and then... Yeah, yeah, and then you have to take one for that. Okay. I just missed that and all the other things that were going on. We will hopefully roll into inaccuracy. So we block your scatter. You will take four. So brace that to two. And then I will counter back at two. Yep. 
for two. And she will just scatter it. And then take the one for ending her activation. No, because she has grit. Oh. That's why I killed the other one first. Mm. So now I will move over out of range of the Exergoth and out of range of Pap. And land here. And then I'll trigger this guy to attack Pap again mm -hmm. with two blues. Four, block your scatter and die. Wow, all right, so here we go. Let's counter back with two. I don't think that's gonna matter. There's one. I so think you are... You have swarm. You do have yeah. swarm. Still only one. We will take it. He is gone. That frees up all my squadrons to move out of Exergorth range. So that is now three squadrons out of my five. Yes. So we will move Axe forward and we will attack that guy. So Axe is going to jump up to here and he's just going to be surrounded by dudes. And we'll attack the Vulture. Actually, no, we're going to attack the Vulture on three. Vulture on three. So that is actually kickback. He's uh, three blues and a red. That's why I'm doing it against him, because mm -hmm. might as well get the most as I can. Except I don't think he is engaged, so he won't get Swarm. Yeah, he will get Swarm, because it's okay. Here we go. Ugh, horrible roll. We'll re-roll a blue for take one. Should attack the other guy. Yeah, just oh, well. looking at that. Okay. And it's a vulture, so no counter. After that... We can move again, and we will move into there with him, because he can move one. And then we're going to be moving Axe. Axe is going to come up, and he's going to drop in right here, and we're going to attack the guy on two, because why not? Actually... That's an ace there. Does this ace have counter? What's the special thing about that ace? Okay, so that is the Horde Chow. Uh, he does not have counter. He swarm, but uh, before an enemy ship or squadron at distance one moves, I can perform an attack. So. Okay, well then I definitely don't move that guy because that would have triggered. Uh, that would have. So I was thinking he was back over here. So instead I move into here and I lock all these squadrons down and we will attack him. Okay, the, the ace? Yes, the okay. ace. So that's going to be three blues and a red. Four swarm in the blue. Uh, block your scatter, take one. So that's all my squadrons. And then we're going to be shooting close range into your side, obstructed. And then we're going to shoot medium range into your front, too. So we're going to start with the side shot into you, which is unobstructed, two blues and two reds. And you can take four with crits. Four with crits. I have two shields on that side and one. This is going into the front, right? Correct. Okay, so... Medium range, it's not going to matter if it's close. So, spend out the brace. Knock all the shields out. And just knock the shields out. Okay. Into your front. Take six. So, we're going to discard the evade to force you to re roll the two reds. Open for some blanks. Two crits. Wow. That's right. dead. So then even if I redirect that, uh, that's one, two, three. No, it's not dead. You already have a damage card. 
Right, but if I redirect, oh, that's the front though. That's into the front. Oh, I'm sorry. So that's yeah. one there, and then so you take one, and I five. take five. Yeah, so he's dead. I'm five sorry. I'm, I'm still thinking of the side. For those interested, the crit is injured crew. And then we do our slow roll forward, right to there. Patriot Fist. We're going to reveal a confire dial. We are going to use the swivel mounts and put those up front. And we're going to take the confire as the dial. We're going to make a shot. My front to the front of the venator back here. So it is obstructed. So let's start with our pull of three dice. So that's two crits. I'm going to intel officer your... Intel officer your brace. You're okay. So uh, because it's Patriot's fist, uh, first attack I get to add two blue dice. Yep. I don't get any more attacks, but that's okay. Okay. We're going to Martuk in. And then with Swivel. And then I think I'm going to Confire in another black. And then what do I have to do? I'm going to set this to a hit. Do I really want to? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Yep. So you can't brace, you can't redirect. Well, I can brace. Well, yeah, you, you could, but it's it's Intel officer, so. I can't uh, redirect? Can't redirect. Intel officer is on your brace. Take seven. I will discard the brace to take four. Okay. I'm going to activate assault concussion missiles. So you will lose one off the front and two off the side. Or one off the sides. So that one actually doesn't lose one off the front. That is your Did thinking. They, I'm thinking... Uh, 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 high energy, right? Yeah, so... So, yeah, that's just... Uh, I take lose off the sides. Yeah, two off the sides. Yeah, and the front. Off. And when I do that, I will redo a brace on Venator 1 over here. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, no no real damage. Got I it. mean, you wiped out okay. most of my shields. Yeah, so, worthwhile. I have no other shots, so now I'm going to move forward. I'm at speed 1. And... quite on top of it, but more or less on top of it. We're going to activate my Pelta. He is revealing a Concentrate Fire. We're going to take it ourselves. Like that. And then we're going to make an Obstructor Shot into your front with a red dice. For an Accuracy, which we will change over to a hit. Take a hit, Ken. Okay. And then I'm going speed one. And we will lose two shields on this side. Simple activation. This Munificent. We're going to take a nav dial and spend the token. We're going to jump to speed two. And here we go. Activating this Venator right here. We are going to be, that is number three, revealing a Concentrate Fire. With that Concentrate Fire, we're going to be using the Clone Navigation to give ourselves a Concentrate Fire token. Like that. And then 
I have to take the spat shot first. So we're going to be shooting the spat from there, close range, into your side, like that. So that is going to be five blues into black dice. Mm -hmm. Into your side. You have a lot of tokens. Of course, the black dice. <laughs> Take six. We're gonna get three. You and I have excise items. Right. So we are going to redirect. We're going to brace that. This is coming from this side. That side with only one shield. And I can salvo you back. Do it. I think I'm going to. Good. So we go from six to three. Push one. Two, three. Salvo with. Actually, you can't make any attacks because you've already Patriot Fist, right? During this activation. Oh, during the activation? Okay, yeah. cool. So, red and a black. And you have a. You can't shield. add dice into Salvo. Ah, uh, Salvo, yeah. Mm. Well, you're taking a hit and a double. So I, I'm going to... You can't use special things off of it. Yeah, no, I'm just making sure there's nothing I can do, but yeah, okay. So I brace it to one. And doop. And then, because I only used one, we're going to bounce myself all the way over to Venator number one and say that it can have its redirect back. Okay. Okay, so then... We're gonna make a front shot. Into the side. So we're gonna attack front into your side. That's gonna be three reds and three blacks, and maybe, just maybe, they'll behave for me. Probably not. If this comes up at 12 damage, I'm gonna cry. That's a lot of damage. Seven. And we're going to uh, concentrate fire in a black dice mm -hmm. because I have that concentrate fire. And uh, before we do that, we're going to take this token off. We're going to add in an accuracy with uh, clone, clone gunners. gunners. For uh, you can't brace, take a lot. And hold on. So that is currently ten coming in. can't brace. You cannot. So re-roll. The red double? The red double, yes. For a crit. Okay, so now we're down to nine. <laughs> and uh, you're going to decide, so I'm going to spend out the redirect to push one to the rear. Yep. And firing from the front. That's not worth the salvo. Maybe hang on. One, two. I'll save it. So I'm taking nine. Nine damage with criticals. There we go. One. One. Two. No. Two. Seven. So the crit is... Injured crew, choose and discard one of your defense tokens. Well, okay, we're gonna discard. Oh, I still have the the evade. Uh, you've got a shot coming in. I'm gonna discard the salvo. And then six more. So that's seven total, right? Yeah, out of how much? 
out of eight, so one more hit. Well, I will ram you. But before we do that, we're going to ordinance pod everything that's in front. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's in range of close. So that's that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy. Okay. So we're going to start with the guy on one. Dead. Okay. Uh, I think the closest ship I have is over there, so he's gone, gone. Then the tri fighter on two. For a hit. Okay. Uh, the vulture on two for a hit, and okay. then the uh, other dude. Yep, for a hit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and scatter that. Cool. Uh, I dropped to. I don't know if I can ram you. Are we that close? Yeah, we might just be close enough that... I don't know if I can ram you unless I do something like... Well, the problem is all the squadrons, too. Uh... I don't think I can ram you. It might do it. But yeah, either way, you, you got to commit one way or the other. This is the what I have to commit to doing. All right, so let's move these two just out of the way temporarily. I'm gonna pull. Well, don't pull because I need to see if I land on you. Well, I mean it's. No. I think I land on your speed dial, so we have to clear everything. All right, so we will approximate if we wind up having to go back. You. I'm on your speed dial. Your shield dial is under me. Okay, so you ram, go back one. So that's... So these guys were... They're, those you definitely overlap. So all those overlap. That ship... So we both it's take destroyed. a damage. This does go out. Wow. Whew! That was stressful. And then I gotta put all the... Uh, that one too? Oh no, that guy was over there. Okay. He was on the other side of the ship. He's hiding behind the ship. So let's let's put these guys over here. And over here too. And you've got no shields, so right there. Okay. Um, then I guess I throw out a stat. Because there's no reason not to. Throw it out to there. So I have one ship left to activate. It's the Providence over here. We've got a nav. We're going to use it as the dial. I have a couple of options for shots, and I think right now we're going to make this forward shot, my front to the front of this Venator. Let's see what happens. So I'm rolling two reds because we're at long range. And it's a hit crit. I'm going to re-roll. Is that what you want to do right now? I'm being really nice to cut. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong ship. Uh, what do you have left? Everything. Intel the brace. No. Yeah, Intel the brace. Then re-roll this with linked. Take two, and I have XI sevens. Okay. So I will redirect, and I will contain. Yeah. So I will redirect over to there, and then I contain. And just take one damage. Bam. And then I have to move forward. I'm at speed one. I can just 
going to move forward one. Not going to bother to use that dial, just because that's worth doing. We're going to activate Resolute now, and Resolute is revealing a Concentrate Fire. And we're going to take that Concentrate Fire, and we're going to use Clone Nav to say that this ship here gets a token for it. I have a lot of cards that are all over the place. So you are close range from that. Right. But we're long range because we're just outside of medium to the front of your ship. All right. So we're going to take that shot. So that's going to be five blues and a black into your front. Four. That wow. looks pretty good. So we, what does that ship have? Uh, everything. I got a brace, I have a redirect, a salvo, and a contain. Um, anything for No, this is, this is all offensive on the ship. Okay, so we're going to concentrate in a black dice. And... I mean, I don't really care. Uh, we spend it and block your brace. And you take seven. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven with and XI-7s. So we're going to have to redirect. I'm going to contain. We'll do that. So take seven. So one, that's six, and then one regular hit. And because I finished resolving, I get a con fire token. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to shoot into the side of this munificent in front of me with three reds and three blacks. I don't think I'm going to be as good. You just have a brace. A brace and a salvo. Need some damage to get through. Oof. So block all your stuff. And this is going to not kill you. That's super frustrating. Do I have anything that can re-roll at this time? No. So, we will turn that into a hit. You're gonna that, take three. That, that kills it. You have two shields. Oh, I've got shields over there? Yes. Oh, okay. So, uh, clearly I have to take those two shields, and then one more. And one more, and which is a crit. a crit. So the crit is, target or disruption while attacking, I cannot resolve critical effects. Uh, that's fine with that one. Okay. And then uh, I'm going speed one, and I ram, and I do another damage to you, and okay. you do a damage to me. So Should... not dead yet. Hold on, and then I'm gonna, I cannot throw this out because I don't have it ready. Right. We're gonna activate this Venator right here. It's got a concentrate fire, and I do have clone nav gunner, so we're going to say I'm going to throw a concentrate fire. You know, no, I don't need to throw it right now. Unless this guy's in range. He is. So yeah, we're gonna throw it over to this guy. Stressful, Ken. This is stressful. This so guy's... a lot of things to have to keep in mind. I know, too. especially with like regenerating and all this stuff. Okay, so we have to take this shot first, which is going to be close range, but actual close range into your front with the spat. So we'll take that up. And it goes there. Five, red, five blues and a black against your front. Um, we'll concentrate fire in on this one, a black dice. Ooh. Uh, we'll block your brace, take five. Five, we're close range. Reroll the blue crit. That's it's five regular hits, and I can redirect if I wish. So we have one, 
two, three, four, and I take one regular hit, and there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, so I'm counting on the fact that I can jump up to speed and ram this ship. So we're gonna shoot three blues, or sorry, three reds into the front of this product. Here we go. Yep. All right, so just three hits. How much else do you have? Let's see. If I clone. I can't clone. Never mind. So, yep. And I have XI sevens. This is your last activation? Yes. So we'll brace that to two. We'll spend out the redirect to push one to the side. And then you take a crit. And you are... You were at medium range? That I do not know. Yes. And I will salvo back to on your empty shield. Okay, so, so before that you take a crit. Okay, what's the crit? Plain oh, crit. This, it's because I've got everything moved around, right? So one goes here. Yep. I take a crit. The crit is structural damage. Yeah, of baby. Of course. I wish it was over here on the other profits. Sorry, John. So, all right, here we go. We have a red and a blue that I get in the salvo. I can still intensify, right? Yep. So uh, I can't use any of the other fun things, though. So there you go. Okay, Take I two. will brace it to one. Okay. And I will take one damage, and then we're gonna start to try to move, and we're gonna try to ram you to kill this ship. I need to be going speed two. So we will spend the token to jump up to speed two. And we will land there. Boom. So you should be able to move the one forward then, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. So that so, ship explodes. Yep. Yeah, pull that out. He is now going speed two. And we rotate to there. You'll never guess where the spat's going down. And then don't forget to take the other damage. I know. I'm grabbing it now. And then we're going to throw out the spat. Like that, just in case you uh, don't move that thing. Cool. That is it for all those ships. Exergoth time. I get to flack all of those guys, so we'll start with that tri fighter. Okay. It's dead. Mm, wow, dead. Do you have anything uh, in range? That I might, because I think I've got one left. Yes. So this guy is going to spend out reserve hanger deck. I get him back at the same health. And we'll just put him. He'll still be red. Right. Yep. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to attack your ace. Mm -hmm. Four, take three. So we will scatter that away. Okay, and then we're going to attack the guy on one. Four, take one. Okay, that uh, I believe kills him and shy of the guy all the way on the other side of the board, I'm out of reserve hangar deck, so this one's dead. Okay, and then this guy's gonna attack that tri fighter. Mm -hmm. Four, take two, and he gets activated. One, two, activated. And then you get to shoot my guy with escort. Okay. For nothing. Perfect. So these both come up, yep. and then I have to move those, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to, hmm. I don't know where I want to move it, I have to move it a minimum of one, so we will move it to Uh, 
there around Anakin. And then yeah, this one, I'm gonna throw it way forward to there. And that's the end of Bexagoth on to Squadrons. We're gonna start. We are gonna have the Horde Channel prototypes here bomb the side of the Venator. So we've got a red for nothing, and I don't get any swarm or any fun stuff like that. Nope, so I will salvo you. Yeah. And uh, that's gonna be two blues. Or take one more, blocking your scatter. Okay, so. And then I can't reach anything, so that guy is just going to regen his brace. Uh, brace. Okay. Because I can. Now, next squatter deck. You're good to go. Now we're going to activate this Tri Fighter bombing into the front of the C70. Tri Fighters roll blacks. Wow, I'm just not doing anything here. Okay, I'm going to say I'm not going to spend anything, and number four over here is going to gain a redirect back. Okay. I really don't want to move my squadron, so we're just going to straight... Actually, we'll fly him over to here, locking down all of these squadrons. Uh, actually, this one's technically not locked down. He's mm -hmm. just there. Right. So let's see. I guess we're gonna attack. You've got an escort on here. We engaged. Yep. So this guy will attack here, and vultures are black, black and blue. Right. Yep. For two hits. I will take only one, because Axe is going to spend his Brace. And then I get a counter you because of Plo Koon being there with a blue, and I get Swarm. And I'll Swarm that crit. Do a hit. Right, so this guy is dead. I'm going to go ahead and do this one next. I'm going to shoot Plo Koon. Yeah, might as well shoot Bloku. For one hit. I will scatter it. And you get to counter, I believe? Yep, counter. Two blues with a depth two. Uh, we'll reroll one. Oh no! Should have killed it. Did Survives. It. I'm take this Tri Fighter and move it towards one of your Venators. I'm actually not going to go all the way, we're just going to get kind of some spot where if you attempt to overlap me, I've got a good shot. Uh, we've got easy range of four, so we're just going to go right up next to you, like such. So this Tri-Fighter is going to bomb into the C-70 front also. Hoping for a miss. That's another black, right? Yep. It is another miss. Cool. And I don't think I get the swarm, that's just against squadrons. Wouldn't it be nice if I could? No. <laughs> and then uh, Venator 4 is going to regain his brace because I'm spending less than one. And this guy, I'm just going to move him over here. Okay. Last part of this is going to be placing Exergoths. So this is where we're going to be placing the Exergoths right here and right there. Beginning of turn four, I'm going to spend Intensify Firepower off the Providence and just use it for the turn. It'll be gone after this. So you're discarding it? I am discarding it. I'm spending a Confire off of Resolute to do Intensify Firepower as well. 
Next activation, or first to this one. We're going to activate the Providence. It's about to die. I have an engineering token. So when I reveal it, I'm going to discard that, and an engineering token from the Munificent, a concentrate fire token from Rune, so I can gain those. So Rune has now been somewhat useful. We're going to spend the dial and the token for six engineering points, getting rid of the ruptured engine and the coolant discharge. Even you with, you still can't spend accuracies? Can't spend accuracies, but I can make two shots now. Okay, let's do it, Ken. So my first shot is going to be my front to the front of this acclimator here. Number four. Number four. It is obstructed, so I'm going to drop a red. No, you know what? I'm going to drop a blue, so I've got two reds going in at you. So let's see what happens. Uh, two crits. I'm going to let that... You have Martuk. I do have Martuk, yeah. You don't have any re-roll ability? I do. That was a crit. But the question is whether I want to spend it. And I think the answer to that question right now is no. So take three crits on the front. Okay, so we will salvo. And also, yeah, we'll redirect it. No, we'll just salvo and take three to the front. Okay. And I gotta do the right one. Mm -hmm. Three to the front. Maybe one. Yep, and here we go. I get a blue and a red. It is obstructed. So I will make it a blue and it will shoot you for a crit. So the crit is, I've got nothing I can do about that. Structural damage. Destroying it, right? Uh, no, because now I've got seven. Ah! Yeah, no, it's. I was able to fix enough ah, of it. Ah, Ken, that's so annoying. Okay. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. We're, I'm, this is going to die you in a minute. You needed the last turn to do the one extra damage I know, to I know. It's just, it, this has got to be just irritating enough, John. Yes, uh, it is. All right. We're going to go my side to your front. Uh, two reds and a blue. We're dropping a blue. Woo! Uh, which is not bad. We're going to Martuk in. That was a crit. Uh, let's... Spend the Confire token to re-roll the accuracy that I cannot use. And then we'll intensify that to a hit. So two, four, five hits. I will brace it to three. And I will redirect it to the side taking only shield damage, zero on the front, zero on the sides. This guy is hurting. And now you can uh, land on the asteroid and the extra off and die. I was gonna say, I think, uh, I think I'm kind of in trouble here, unless I'm at speed two now. So you can ram me. If I ram you, I'm going to land on just the extra goth and die. If I go straight, if I go straight, I will land on... Um, I might land on just the Exergarth. No, but your I, shield dial is going to land Yeah, on. so then in that case, if I'm going to die anyways, John, I'm make going... Make a glorious death and give make me Make a glorious death. Okay, so I'm we going definitely to, ram. I'll so ram just move you. one forward. So we both take a damage. And that's that on number five. That's on number six. Six, okay. And then, like you said, I will move one forward. This should be touch and land. Yeah. So I land on the Exergorth. I have nowhere to take it off, so that is one more hit. That does go away. Yay! And you will score on that Providence, John. We are going to activate my Benator right here. And that is number two. He's super damaged. We're going to be revealing a Confire. Um, when we do that, we're going to spend Nav Officer, because I don't think I'm going to be around to uh, really do anything with that. And we're going to toss the Nav to... 
we're gonna toss it over to this Venator over here. Boop, on to Venator 3. Now we have to make the spat attack, which will be close range from there and close range from my ship into your front. So that's gonna be four, five blues and a black. Let's see what we get. Stupid black dice. We will confire in on this one a black dice. And how much health do I have to push through? Six total. Six total. Eek. Here we go. Confire the black in. All right, saw the double for a second. One, two, three, four, five. So that would be six. So we'll spend this guy to add in another accuracy to block out your two useful ones. So you're going to leave me with the salvo, huh? I'm going to leave you... Actually, no, I don't need to do that. Because I only need six damage to go through, right? Correct. So I don't do that. And I'll keep the token because you can't salvo this because it's a uh, ignition attack. Block your brace and take six. So... Using the point defense ion cannons, I'm going to have you re-roll the odds are the same roughly. So re-rolled one of the black or the 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 blue blue crits. crits. Yeah. Three, I'm still taking six. I could contain it, but it's not gonna matter. You're not letting me brace. That's it. Yeah. I can't sell one ignition attack? Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is off the table. Okay. And then for my second attack, we're going to do this rear shot, close range into the front of this guy with a rainbow. Or you can't use your evade, take three. Yeah. I'll leave you on like what, one health? All right, so brace it to two. I take two and I have to take a crit. So the crit is ruptured engine, and then there's the second one. So I'm on two health. Ugh. Two health. Now I have to move, and I did not think about this yet. Oh no. Before we move, I'm going to flack the guy in front of me with ordinance pods. Four black dice. For nothing. And... Point speed two. Do I even have this maneuver? Yes. I'm not going to overlap them, but do you mind just budging them? Right to there. We're going to take this transport at the back. Nav, we'll use it as the dial. Let's parts resupply to the Munificent. And then we're going to jump to speed one. And this little guy is going to get out of here. Almost forgot about him hiding in the back here. We're gonna activate this Delta. It's gonna use FB88. That is that one, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. To discard the top one and take a squadron. And then we're gonna pass the squadron with Comsnet over to here, getting rid of that engineering. And then we're gonna take this shot over to there. And that is gonna be one red dice into your front, Ken. Mm -hmm. Take a hit. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, 
just going to take one. Cool. Free damage. And then we're going to blast off like this, going speed one, landing right there. Beast of Burden. Beast of Burden is going to show engineering. We are going to use that uh, to get three engineering points and get rid of ruptured engine. Didn't want to just explode after uh, moving? Nah, I kind of want to try and keep them alive just a little bit longer. And now we've got a couple shots. And I think my first shot is going to be uh, long range. We're going to go my front to the side of your Venator. Okay. So that's three dice. To the front, you said? My front to your side. Oh, okay. Sorry. The, the, I'm pointing and saying something different, so ignore me. Uh, yeah, I was wondering for a second. Mar Martuk in, another red. And uh, LTT, we can do that. Oof. And two, four, five, take take five, Joe. Okay, so I will spend an evade, a salvo, and a contain. Okay. So that will be that shield gone, the shield's gone, and a damage, and then I throw a dice back at you. Okay. Go to my front. Four, take a hit. It's a regular hit, I'm gonna take it for the moment. Because I have a feeling like you're gonna try and do that again on my next shot. 100% that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, so here we go. Shot two, I don't think I have any way of getting your side. I think I have to, sh oh hey, look at that, John. Okay. Do I wanna do that? No. No, I wanna hit your back because I want the extra dice. So, side to rear. So we get one red die. We Martuk. LTT. This is a bad idea. LTT. Oh. And intensify for three to your rear. No crits. No crits. So we're gonna brace it. Okay. And we're gonna redirect it. To where you've no. Oh, sorry, no redirect. I'm gonna salvo it. Okay. So the brace means that that is like that. Mm -hmm. And then I get a red and a blue shooting right back at you. Yep, because we're at medium range. Medium range. So take hit crit. So re-roll the crit. Into a crit. Ah, so that's, that unfortunately is going to kill it. You can brace it to... Can I? Didn't I? Oh, yeah, because you. It's red and I'm thinking I already spent it. Yeah. Uh, send so send we'll, it out. We'll brace it to one. Crit. Which is a point defense failure, so when I'm attacking squadrons, we don't care about that. If I could get a squadron over to you, that would be an impressive time. That, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Now you move. Oh, well, I do get to move. So here we go. We're going to go around the back here and end over here. We're going to go with the Benator right here. That's number three. He's revealing a concentrate fire. And we're going to use, because we have to, this, which is medium range into your side. Okay. Um, when we reveal on fire, do we want to give it over there? No. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do our five blues mm -hmm. into your side. <clears throat> Seems pretty good. We're going to concentrate fire in a blue. And we're also going to uh, use the gunner thing from this guy back here to put in another accuracy. And then add in a blue with the con fire. I just ricocheted yeah. all those. So that's, you had three, four hits. And we change that to five. We'll block your redirect and block your um, brace. So take five with crits. We have one, two, three, four. When declaring target of attack, cannot choose a target against whom the attack would be obstructed. Okay. And then. I'm going to slack out the front 
at that guy with two blues. That's my second attack. For two hits. It is dead. It's dead. And then we're gonna flack that guy obstructed with one. Or it's dead as well. Okay, and then before I move, I'm gonna ordinance pods out my side, a black dice, into your ace. For a hit. Well, since he's on one, we are going to have to, that's the horse shell right there. Yep. So we're gonna scatter that to stay alive. And then I have to find my speed two maneuver. And do you mind moving me? So there, Ken. Yeah. Um, but I'm choosing not to add out my splat this turn. Got a Munificent with disengaged fire control. Con fire, we're gonna use it. I have two shots. I've got double arc on this vendor. I'm kind of hoping it dies. So, first shot, my front to your front. Two reds, two blues. You have no shields, so I will have to remove a die. Well, let's remove the blue one. And then, what do I need to kill this one? Four? Four damage. Let's confire in another red. Four crit. And I can't really do any. I could LTT one of these, so let's LTT this one. Take five. I will spend out the brace, mm -hmm. and I will spend the contain, and I will salvo you. Okay. So I take three damage. Yep. All face downs, and then I hit you with a rainbow into your front. Mm -hmm. Four. Take three. Exile sevens. Race to two. Redirect, so one. One. And then... <clears throat> Or do I want to just take? This one only has one hit on it. Yep. That's worth even shooting at. Just shoot the thing, kind of kill it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I need another red one, please. I think you have to remove one. Yeah. So let's take a crit out. And then lock your you just contain, block, I guess. Lock I, the contain. And because I'm gonna be spending less than one, we will redo over here the I think salvo. Okay. And the crit is Life support, discard all your command tokens. I don't have any command tokens, and I can't have any, and then it explodes. Yep. Boom! <clears throat> took out a Venator. Cool. And then I'm gonna move at speed one. So it's not gonna be much, just gonna do that. Here we go. Resolute. He is revealing a concentrate fire. So we will use it. And uh, I pretty much have no fancy things I can do. So we're gonna start by shooting my side at medium range to, doesn't really matter what hull zone, um, this little ship over here. So a blue and a red against that ship. Uh, um, I'm actually going to concentrate fire in another blue. 
four, no matter what you do. No matter what, what do. I do, I'm going to take one instead, so I will need to reshuffle my deck to take something, but... Alright, we've gone through a damage deck. Absurd land when you've gone through an entire damage deck. Uh, disengage fire control. Again? Yep. But this one's done. Boom. Okay, and then we're going to shoot out my front, just out of, um, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna fire three, three reds into you, Ken. Wow. <laughs> Um, That's good you know, uh, I mean, <laughs> so I'm going to salva you back. Okay. I'll take one. I get two reds to salva you back with. Yep. Thanks, intestine five. Uh, take two. Okay, I will re-spend out the redirect to wipe out the rest of my shields. And uh, at the same time, I'm going to then refresh my contain. Okay. And then I will ordinance pots. That guy out in front. For hit. And then I'm going to move. Do I want to stay at speed one? Or do I want to jump up to speed two? We'll stay at speed one and do this. I think I'm going to take two damage. There's the free field. Yep, but this is a good spot for me. Mm -hmm. So, sadly, that's just straight two damage cards. Wow. And I get a token with... Uh, Resolute. Resolute. We have a Munificent here. Now, if we're going to take it as the dial, I have a double arc shot to the side of John's Acclimator here. So let's start with the front. So that's two reds. And then we Martuk. And I've got nothing I can really do. Oh, no, I can LTT. So it's LTT. Yeah, and then, then we'll intensify that. So take three with a crit. We will redirect, and because we're only spending one on this guy over here, we're going to take back our brace. Okay. And with the th three, we're going to knock out two of the shields in the back and take one to the side. Should have done it differently, but whatever. I'll still give you the mark. I still want. So, yeah, I get the mark shot. So, here we go. Three red dice into your side. And then we mark two. This is not working for me. That was kind of cool. Uh, LTT a blank. And intensify for two, four, five. I will brace it. And discard the redirect. And we will put one there and two to the front. Now I literally just want to be annoying. And unfortunately, these things only go speed uh, two. Yeah, but you got like unlimited cranks. Yeah, I know. So really the question is, is where can I be the most irritating? Yeah, let's do this. Let's see if I can do this. I think so. Yeah, you can. Yeah. So I don't overlap the extra Garth. So it's speed two. There you go. We're gonna activate my pelt though. That is the seven one. We're reviewing in engineering. We're gonna use projector dudes to move 
two shields to the front. Actually, we're going to move one shield there and one shield there. We're going to take it off of my front. So that's two, and then we're going to regenerate one shield onto the front with the last two of my stuff. And then we're going to go ahead and try to move and try to move off the debris field. And I successfully do that. We're going to activate Mark 2 because i got nothing left to activate. Nav. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spend the engineering token, use Watt Tambor, and clearly within distance 5, we're going to steal two shields from here. So that's two shields, four engineering points plus two, so six engineering points to this via Watt Tambor. We're going to put one, two, three shields new on it. We're going to make a front shot. We're going to go after this guy here, so uh, acclimator number six. Okay. So I have to lose one to obstruction. Yep. So three reds. Plus one from Martuk. We are going to LTT. Intensify. Intensify. Uh, two, and I'm not going to let you on that one. Can't sell, we'll take two. Okay. I will just take two, and I will gain my brace back. And take two. I don't really have a good shot here. I could, but I'm not going to do anything there. So I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and move. We'll kick up to speed 2 to avoid this asteroid. And uh, move Anakin out of the way for a second. Do land on this guy. But not on anything. So we will put him over here. We're going to activate my fearless leader and uh, we're going to activate squadrons. I can activate five squadrons and all those squadrons are the ones right here that aren't engaged with anything. We're going to start off by activating this guy to move as far down here as I can like that and hope that we're out of range of the Exodoth, which I just am, but what makes me worried is I don't think I'm going to be able to get everything else out of it. So we're going to attack your dude right there. Mm -hmm. And he is a blue, two blues, a red, and plus a blue for flight controllers. Uh, block out your scatter, take three. So I will brace that to two. We're going to move Plo Koon. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. And Plo Koon's gonna move well past and land over here. And he will attack you. I am also outside of that range. So Plo Koon is four blues with flight controllers and a black. And I get a depth two. I kill you. Uh, yep. I block everything. He's gone. And then move 
this guy. Over to here, and I want to engage both of these guys. Like that. And we're going to attack the, uh, your ace. Okay, so the board shell. Yeah, so that's going to be a red and three blues. Four, it's dead. Uh, yeah, if you're black, you black scatter. scatter. Yep. I do get uh, nothing. And then I'm going to move. Thank you. Do I just keep. Three? You know what you do? You pick it up and change it, and then when you're done, you change it back. It's funny. Ahsoka is going to move as far as she can. I want to land over here. Actually, I need to land like right here. So then I can shoot there, and then I can trigger that guy. So this guy is going to trigger, and he's going to attack with two blues and swarm into that tri fighter. Okay. Because of Ahsoka. Ah. I'll just re roll one. Nothing. So now Ahsoka actually has to attack that guy after you, uh, you can uh, counter for jumping out of the tray for one. One. And he just has to take it. And then Ahsoka attacks him. And that's going to be four blues and a black. So hopefully I can kill this guy. Yep, very dead. Uh, yeah. Don't even need to use Adept. I don't think I've really needed to use Adept. You can also counter me. Yep. Four, two. I will scatter it. Yep. And then my last squadron is this guy. And I need to see my range. We didn't see any of that. Sorry guys, we're getting really exhausted. This is like an eight hour game. Yeah, we are just going to move as far as we can over to here. Like such. So that's all of my fighters that I can move. Now let's do some attacks. I have you out my side, into your side, obstructed with one dice. Here's the red. Four, take a hit. Yeah, so if we got a crit, it's into my side. Uh, long range, right? Yep. Uh, let's just go ahead and we'll cancel it. Perfect. Now we're going to do the same long range type of shot into your side, out my front. Two reds. Take a hit, crit. Yeah, I guess I'm going to take it. Two. And then we're going to do this and try to avoid all the asteroids landing right there. So now we're going to start down the acclimator line. Acclimator 4 is going to shoot into your front, because I have to, at close range. And we are revealing a concentrate fire. So we're going to start off with three reds, a blue, and two blacks into your front. Seems pretty amazing. It's not bad. And then... We're going to use the thingy to add in the swivel, to add in a black. <laughs> and then we're going to concentrate fire in a black. And then we're going to do that and say, you can't brace, take everything. So two, four, six, eight, ten hits. This sounds familiar, doesn't it? So at close range, I can have you reroll one of the doubles. One of the blanks? Yeah. Yeah, that's actually the only one. Right, so now we're down to nine. We can redirect, which will take care of six. So, so before you actually yeah, I know. You can declare redirecting. I'm, 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 it'll go to the left, 
because I know you've got some fun stuff to go in here. Yeah. And then I think... Salvo while you can. Salvo while I can. So, all right, let's uh, see what the crit is, right? Yeah, I hit ATP on you. Which is injured crew, choose and discard one of my defense tokens. Uh, so we're going to get rid of the uh, uh, redirect. So now I take nine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five hits, and now I salvo. Yes, you do. I have a black and a red. I have to drop one. Because of it's because obstructed. Of, uh, it's obstructed, so I might as well just go for a black. For a hit, and I can't really do anything about it. Oh, I could ordinance it, but you know what? Yeah, because I can still intensify this, can't I? Yes. So we're going to ordinance it. And still one. So... Doesn't matter, I'm just taking one on that guy. Yep. And I guess because we're not going to be using anything, we will gain back our uh, redirect. Okay. And I take a damage on it. So now I'm going to make another shot. This is going to be medium range into your front over here. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be unobstructed. So that's going to be three reds and a blue into your front. Okay. And then we're going to add in a black dice because of swivel. And then we're going to turn that into that. And I'm going to say that you can't that full tokens on that guy? So this, this is over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, That's full token. So full you can't salvo and you can't redirect. Take so two. I can brace with two if I wanted to. And this is to the front? Yes. Yeah, I think I will brace and I'll take one. Okay, and then while going speed one. I believe we're going to ram. I ram you. So we should take damage. Acclimator number five is going to be revealing a confire. We will use it. We're going to start by shooting into the side of this ship with my front. So that's going to be three reds, a blue, and two blacks. Okay, not too bad. We will swivel mount in a black. And then we will concentrate fire in the black. And then we'll just say that turns something like that. So I have at least one red. I don't even know. I'm so tired. I don't know what it is. Three, <laughs> six, eight, going into the side of this guy. Oh, sorry. This was a, that was an accuracy. Oh, okay. So yeah. I block your, um, Redirect. Okay, we're blocking the redirect, and I still have what? Two, four, six, seven coming in, or am I missing a die? Not seven. Yeah. Seven coming in. Dump the brace to bring that down to four. Uh, ATP. Yeah. Faulty countermeasures, I can't spend exhausted defense tokens. Kind of glad I did that then. One, two, three, and then one more. Okay. Okay, then we're going to shoot long range obstructed into your side over here. So we'll be dropping a red dice. So, two, that is cut. Jeez. And then throw in the swivel mount um, black dice. Take five. Five into the side. I need to brace that to three, but you know what? It doesn't matter because that will kill it. Is there a crit in there? No. Stall base hits. Yep. So we'll take those. This comes off the board. Then we go to move. This guy is currently going speed one, and we're going to ram you. 
I'm jumping up two. to speed two, landing here. He is now to speed two. We're going to activate this guy right here. And uh, he has a big surprise. Concentrate fire. We're going to use it. We're also going to use this squadron token to activate Anakin. Anakin is going to spend one of his graces to ignore engagement. And he's going to fly himself nice and pretty over here. I could probably have to land over here. We'll land right here because I can easily do that. So he shoots two into your side, a black and a blue. And he has a depth two and honor or hit crit. So we're going to redirect that to the rear and I'm gonna salvo you back. So I have to take the two off the rear, one, two. Salvo is a red and a black. It's just a red because you have the wrong card. Do I? You have the wrong thing on there, yeah. I do, okay, my bad. So it is a red dice. So just a red die. But it's a double. I will brace it to one, and then regen my other brace. I think Anakin's gonna die. Nice if I can take them out. And then we're gonna shoot into your front. I just really did that again. With, I believe, everything, because we're at close range. Yep. So that's gonna be three reds, a blue, and two blacks to start into your front of your ship. And then we're going to swivel mount in a black dice. And then we're going to concentrate fire in a black dice. And that was a blank, but we're going to make it into a hit. I say you cannot um, redirect and punch all that damage in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage in. So this guy's dead. We're going to salvo back at you. Okay. It's what, one red that I'm going to wind up hitting you with because it's obstructed? Uh, yes, but before all that happens, I ATP right. you. So let's get that taken care of first. So that is thrust control malfunction. So I have problems moving and I'll take enough damage to kill me. Yep. And I fire back with one red for a double. Woo! And that is number five. So I will brace it and redirect both of it over to this side. It's actually number six. That's number six. So I can't redirect it. So I just brace it and I take one. Wham. And then because of that, I will redo uh, something over there. And then my rest of my shots, I will drop a blue dice and we will flack everything out my side. So choose the... Now let's go for this vulture here. Sounds good. Black dice. Miss. Okay, and then we've got uh, Tri Fighter. Hit. And then the other Tri Fighter. Hit. All right, so they're both now at one. Okay, I then spend out this token and drop to speed zero. Number 11 is going to activate. I have black flak, and we're going to flak both these guys out my front. And I have a concentrate fire. So we're going to start by concentrating fire against the guy on two health, or flaking against the guy on two health for nothing, and then we're going to concentrate fire in on this attack for nothing, and then we're going to LTT this attack for two dice, or it's dead. Uh, the vulture yes. on two health. The vulture on two health completely Put exhausted sauce. all of you. <laughs> yeah, that was entertaining. And then we're going to move forward one, landing right there. And then we're going to keep rolling right into the next guy. And he's also revealing a concentrate fire. So we're going to start by shooting out the side into that guy that's on one health. And that's a black dice. He is dead. 
Uh, so it was the side shot. Oh. Sorry. It's so then at, theoretically if the I day, miss. Yeah. And then we're going to concentrate fire and shoot into the guy in the front. Four one. So I pulled him out in anticipation, John. And then we continue our slow roll straight ahead. Is that all my ships? Yes, I think then we just go into Exergoth and uh, Fighters. So Exergoths don't have any attacks, so both these guys come up. And then they move their distance too. As far away from me as I can get them. And this one's actually going to move backwards. Just like that. And then we go into movement for Ken's Fighters. So at this point I'm solely interested in getting away. So this guy is just going to fly away and he'll end here. Now let's go to the other side of the board. This tri-fighter is going to run into the corner on this side. Okay, that is the end of round four. We have a little bit to do in round five and then we'll probably call it. Turn five. I don't know that we have any shenanigans going on. Uh, yeah, I will uh, discard um, intensify firepower to get intensify firepower. Okay. We're gonna activate my uh, one of my only ships here, Con Fire. We're gonna take as the dial. I have double arc into the front. We're at close range. So let's start with two reds and two blues. So that's my front. Okay. Woo! Wow. Um, let's see, this one, I'm blocking... Everything? Everything, take three. That's it? Uh, well, hang on, let me think here. What do we have? We have... A double and a hit. No, you... Oh, no, I can't do that. You do not have intensifies. No. no. And if I hit you once more, wow, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. Let's let's send this, because I need, what, two more? I have one shield and five health. So if you have five health, we've got two. Let's spend both the Confire Dial and the, the uh, token. token. Give me a red one. Let's re-roll that. This is a reroll with the token, or is this a reroll with LTT? This is a reroll with LTT, because I know it makes a difference. And you know what? I'm going to spend the, the dial to reroll one, or the token reroll on one of the blues. So that's two, four, six. You cannot salvo. I think I die. I think you do. That is an insane roll. So that that's really one. Isn't bad. And then no crits. And five. Kaboom. There goes a Venator. Yes, it is. How oh, do I even bother? Let's see. It's a medium range shot. I've got three dice. Maybe I get lucky. Let's take that shot. So three reds. Yep. Into your front. And uh, I can't do anything with that unless I want to LTT, but I think I'm happy with that. Take four with the crit. Okay, I will spend out an evade to say you can reroll the double and the crit. 
for two. For two. I will erase it to one. I'm moving at speed one. I do not want to give you any shots that I don't absolutely need to, but I think you're going to be able to hit my side regardless. But let's do this just because if I do that, your side will likely have to go into the front. Okay, we're going to just keep rolling, so let me take a moment. So we're going to activate this ship right here, and we're going to reveal a Concentrate Fire, and we are going to use it. I have Ken double arced into his side, and the side is at close range, but the other one is not because it has to go farther. So we're going to start with the two reds first, into your front. And to the side. You know what I meant. Mm -hmm. Front to your side. Cool. Here, take a hit. So I will redirect that to the rear. And because I can, we'll just go ahead and salvo. So that's two reds. Medium range. For hit and an accuracy and... Uh, let's just go ahead and re-roll this with Link Turbo Laser Towers. Take three. Um, you can re-roll that double. Do a crit. And then we will redirect it to the side. Bonk. Bonk. And now we'll shoot from the side into your side, which will be a red into black. And we'll concentrate fire in a black. And you can take another single point of damage. Uh, you know what, let's just... I'll redirect that to the rear also. And I've been getting lucky, let's burn the salvo out and fire two more reds at you. For hit crit, I'm not going to risk it, so take two. I will spend out the brace to take one. And then we're moving one. I did this in the wrong order. But I will crunch both those, and you can place them down. Okay, so we're going to activate my flagship. We have squadrons. And I have all my squadrons, and all of them can reach your side. And I'm honestly going to just roll it all in together. Go ahead. So I'm just going to move them all to be on the side. Because you can't redirect, and you can't salvo them, and none of this is braceable. Right, because they're all individuals. Yep, so we're going to do Ahsoka's of the blue one, and the other ones are black ones. So here we go. There's nothing that I can do with any of those, so that's two damage. Two damage. You're going to survive on one. I think I will. Because now I think you have one ship shot. I have one ship shot that is obstructed into your side. I needed that black to hit. Yeah. Here we go. Double. Yeah, we spend the brace, bringing it down to one. Survives on one health, Ken. Well, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? So, technically this is the turn what? This is turn five. Okay, so we can call it here. Both these are going to die. I would agree with that. I would agree and with that. And this is... He'll drop to speed zero, so you're not going to get a shot this turn. You're going to have to move it next. This guy's going speed two, and he'll move it then there. And this guy can jump up to speed three and drop a splat on it. Yeah. So we could probably consider that in big trouble. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna just call the game right there.
Well, we're back and exhausted. <laughs> I think this game took... About eight hours? Seven? About seven yeah. hours. And we kind of called it at the end of pseudo turn five. Um, man, that was the biggest battle I think we've ever recorded. Mm -hmm. And we, you and I have personally played, before we even started recording this, a 1200 point game. And that one went faster. And we both had almost none of our fleets back. This game, though, looked gorgeous on this new map. It really did. So props to Robert from Imperial Star Shop. This was a great map to play this particular battle on. Uh, I really felt like there was a narrative going on that we were actually battling over uh, Coruscant. Might have been kind of fun if... Urban Planet. Urban Planet. We were yes. fighting over, over Urban Planet. Urban Planet. Uh, I think what might have been interesting here would be to play, there's a couple of objectives where you go lengthwise, and then you could see, you know, the Republic forces coming away from the planet. That could be cool, too. But not in the cards for today's objective choices. Uh, a couple things we want to mention definitely about the mat. Uh, Play-wise, this was great to play on. It felt good. It did not move at all on the table. In fact, kept it very stable. So I felt like just bumping the table... Yeah. Didn't so Ken and I actually have these like two by four boards that we play on to stabilize it. And normally throughout the game it shifts. Just a and little. And we played for seven hours and it didn't shift at all, which right. means that the grip on the bottom is extremely grippy and held it all in place. Great visuals. So I think maybe uh, for reference, let us know what you guys thought of how good this looked in the video, the game map. We'd like to give a big shout out to all of our Patreon members. Um, we really did this for you guys <laughs> um, as a special for the Season 1 ending. So who knows what we're going to do for Season 2, but stay tuned. And if you are a member on Patreon, you will get a little bit of advance notice of what we'll be doing. If you'd be interested in um, becoming a member, there's a link down below in the description. So here we go looking at uh, the game itself. A couple things we're going to point out. One, the little slide moving uh, you were doing is not a legal move, <laughs> but to speed up gameplay and we knew what you were doing, it just was the fastest thing to do. So there's the disclaimer for the video there. Undoubtedly, mistakes were made. We challenge you guys to play a 1200 point game and, and <laughs> film it and not make a mistake. But to be fair, uh, you know, we know that mistakes were made. At 1,200 points, if one minor mistake is going to make that big of a difference, uh, yeah, uh, 400, sure, 12. Oddly enough, just some thoughts on the game. The squadron battle, because we held it back from being like a 400-point squadron massacre, right. um, was actually part of the easiest part, I think, of this game. Like, we yeah. just kind of, like, squadrons just... Rooped in the middle, then we tried to avoid the Exergoths, and then they all killed each other. Eh, done. It, honestly, yeah, what we were having difficulty was deciding which ship to activate. And it became one of those, I could activate this one, I could activate this one, and it was a constant back and forth. How do I avoid putting myself in a bad spot? And ultimately, we had to do that. You had a couple edges there. You had an activation I advantage. I had one activation, and I think that made... The complete world of difference in this game. And then your speed zero move. My th dropping three Corvettes to speed zero, knowing that you wouldn't be able to one-shot them at the range that they were at when I needed you to get closer to me to use my spats. Yeah, so between the spats, the, the tricky maneuvering, I mean, that was, yeah, that was the most difficult part, was making that decision, what do I activate? Yeah, with yeah. so many choices, it... Because there were like three different battles going on. We had the heavy hitter Venator line over here. On then we had my really just murderous assault line. Mm -hmm. And then we had this fighter battle going in the middle. And each one of them, if one of them shifted power, would shift the into the next phase. Right. Does that make sense? Like if my Venators won on that side, they would shift into the middle to overpower that. If your ships on this side could overpower my acclimators, they would have shifted into the fighter battle. Like, back and forth, so, honestly, most of the game just thinking was back and forth of which side should I activate on to try to gain an edge in it. And if you activate it on that side, does that mean I activate on that side too, or do I just activate on this side, forcing you to, like, make another hard decision? Right. 
that's where this game actually I think was the most interesting was activation order was so key. It was equally cool to see the, all three battles kind of happen and you got that sense of this was much bigger uh, a fight and you know this is just a segment of what happened over the Battle of Coruscant and no we're never going to do a 6,000 point game just cutting that out right now. Unless we get Luger Hulks. Well. No, honestly, I would probably prefer doing one at Luger Hulk and just like infinite like Naboo fighters against it. <laughs> so our question for this week, because we're exhausted and this is the biggest game that we've ever played. Have you guys ever played a 1200 point game? What is the biggest game that you guys have played? How long did it take? And afterwards, did you feel like you... Uh, need to immediately take a nap. <laughs> so don't forget to like the video if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, check us out on all the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the links are below. Until next time, I'm John. And I'm Ken. And this is Ion Radio.